When your capacitor properties lab opens up, you'll have your power supply set to a certain voltage. You'll have your plate set a certain distance apart. And you will have your four tabs across the top where you can view plate separation, plate size, storage, and field strength. You can move the plates around by uh, using the arrows, and you can change the size of the plates by clicking on the plates themselves. Okay, so students have the freedom to examine any of the variables and how they affect the properties of the capacitor. So the first thing they may want to do is change the voltage. If they want to raise or lower the voltage, they will click on the knob. If they click on the right side of the knob, the voltage will go down. If they click on the left side of the knob, the voltage will go up. To change the size of the plates, students simply click on the plates and it will cycle through a few different preset sizes of the plates. The size of the plates will be set when the program opens and they will not change once the program is open. You'll just cycle through the possible sizes of the plates. Okay, they can move the plates farther apart when the plates are close together, the movement will be small. As the plates get farther apart, each time they click the arrow will cause the plates to move a larger and larger distance. The plates can touch and short out the system. So if that occurs, you want to make sure you realize that the power supply will shut off and students should move the plates apart and then turn the power supply back on again. Okay, to actually take readings of plate separation, students simply click on the tab for plate separation, and in this case, the plates are one millimeter apart. To measure the size of the plates, students will click on this tab, and it looks like the plates are around 12.2 centimeters for a radius. They can use that to calculate the area of the plates. Under the storage tab, students can read off the amount of charge stored on the plates, the voltage on the plates, and also the energy stored on the plates. And under field strength, students can see a visual representation of the field near the center of the plates. Edge effects obviously will not be important if we're looking only at the center of the plates. And they can also get a reading on the field strength. So you can use this program to have the students test how different factors like plate separation, plate size, and voltage across the plates affects things like charge stored, energy stored, field strength. You could also have the students calculate the capacitance of the capacitor using the formula capacitance equals Q over V. And students can then figure out how the different factors affect the capacitance of the capacitor. You can also have students test what will happen if the power supply is shut off. So if we go into our program, we can shut the power supply off. And then we can move the plates apart. And students can see that there will be some changes that take place such as to the energy and the voltage. The amount of charge stored on the plates won't change with the power supply off, but as we pull the plates apart, since the plates are oppositely charged, there's going to be a force trying to pull them together, so pulling them apart adds energy to the system. So there's a lot of things this program can be used to study, I would suggest having each lab group study one aspect of the capacitor and then pull them all together through class discussion.